Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach May with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Monday, the 10th of August. Starting off with Blue Star Capital, which is uh, there's a nice uh, little setup here. This uh, U-shaped uh, bull flag, as I call it, uh, neckline there around what 0.21, something like that. So end of day close above that today, and the shares could hit the top of that channel from uh, last September up to 0.3 pence over the next few weeks. Big picture target, just to cheer up uh, uh, people who are waiting uh, for a big result, uh, is uh, uh, a line of resistance from April uh, last year. Uh, in fact, April the year before, April 2018, up towards 0.42 pence. Uh, you also would notice that this is a uh, basically a, a double-headed, inverted head and shoulders pattern there from uh, the... Uh, over the last couple of years, so uh, the right-hand shoulder there and the neckline around 0.24, 0.25. So it looks like a good slow burn situation on Blue Star. Uh, a situation which is also quite slow, uh, at least initially, was uh, Eve Sleep. Uh, in fact, uh, the detractors uh, made you feel that uh, the shares would never rally. But uh, as you can see, that they did, they did manage to break out mid-month uh, last month and uh, have done rather well since. Uh, form resistance uh, from the beginning of the year around uh, two and a half pence and at least while we're above that looking for uh, the top of the rising trend channel from uh, October last year up to five pence over the next four to six weeks. Ideally there's no real there's no break back below uh, that 2.9 pence uh, low of today and of Friday. Uh, Gunsind uh, situation which uh, Seems to have uh, some people uh, quite excited about its prospects uh, over the near term. Uh, here we've had, uh, looks like we've got well, sort of was it the fourth attempt uh, at breaking that line of resistance from February. 0.8, I previously said above 0.8, we're going up to, or we could go up to 1.8. Uh, and uh, obviously one bull trap there after I said that uh, last month. Good bounce uh, over the last week on the 50-day line, 0.73. Uh, but again, uh, sustained action over 0.8 uh, should be, bring out uh, the big target there. Be cautious on the shares. Uh, a break of 0.9 pence is the trigger, which is what I said uh, the last time I covered the shares. Katoro Gold, uh, the next contender. Here, a nice break of this um, uh, near-term triangle for the shares. Uh, that's the April uh, April triangle. And uh, the level uh, that's broken on Friday at 2.4 pence, so above 2.4, looking for that February resistance line projection up to 5.5 pence, which uh, in the current atmosphere with gold doing so well, one would hope would be uh, delivered re relatively soon over the next one to two months. Uh, Marichal uh, Capital, a stock which has got a lot of uh, interest amongst the uh, Twitterati, or at least the Twitterati that I follow, and uh, it's good to see that they're... Uh, uh, bet looks to be uh, doing well. Uh, initial target here uh, previously was up to uh, 1.8, 1.9 pence at the top of this rising trend channel from uh, last year. Uh, big picture target here up to 3.5 pence, uh, which uh, would obviously be rather exciting. Uh, that's a 2016 uh, resistance line projection. And uh, the upside valid, at least while we hold above a uh, recent uh, uh, support, uh, sorry, recent resistance for the shares, uh, which uh, neckline resistance there around 1.2. So about about 1.2, looking pretty set fair for Marichal uh, Capital. Uh, Modern Water, another company which has uh, decent social media interest of the right type, um, slow players rather than fast money. Here we've had a break of the uh, post, well, I suppose it's the post-March uh, triangle there at 2.2 uh, pence. Uh, end of day close above that should be enough to open up the prospect of a top of March trend channel target as high as four pence over the next six to eight weeks. This stage only really back below the 50 day line at 1.91 and the uh, March support line really uh, kills the idea of a decent move to the upside. Uh, on to Open Orphan which uh, uh, reported yet more uh, decent contract news. Uh, we've seen the shares, uh, as suspected on Friday, uh, ready to break out. They broke that, uh, they've broken that line of resistance from May, uh, that line around uh, 13 and three quarters. So end of day close above that. We should be on our way to the upside and um, the long promised uh, target to the upside through 25 pence, etc. 
Be cautious on the stock, though, uh, given that we have actually um, uh, pulled back from 15 pence on uh, three or four occasions in the recent past. Waiting for an end-of-day close above that uh, may be the way uh, to go if you are of a cautious nature. Uh, but at least while we're above 12 pence and the 50-day line, uh, the shares look uh, reasonably set fair, given the way that the 200-day uh, moving average is currently dragging the stock higher. Uh, Sealand Capital, the next situation, very uh, volatile stock, but um, I just thought I'd cover it again after uh, Friday's break of that 20-day uh, moving average and the uh, July resistance line around uh, 1.5 pence. Uh, all we're looking for today really is an end-of-day close above 2.3 uh, which is uh, basically uh, near-term resistance and former neckline resistance. If we can get that, then the next level higher would be up to four pence for Sealand Capital. Uh, stock which uh, has come back after a rather quiet period, uh, un uncharacteristically quiet, is uh, Valorix. We've broken a July resistance line uh, neck and uh, neckline resistance around nine pence. End of day close above that uh, today. Uh, obviously opens up the uh, July peak near ten uh, near twelve pence, but uh, prospect of a top of April trend channel target and retesting uh, May resistance at twenty pence plus. Uh, Verde takers next, uh, which was great, going great guns uh, last week, of the back of uh, cashing in on uh, three hundred thousand pounds worth of um, uh, warrants, uh, which I think the bears haven't mentioned, and also the two point two million dollar. Uh, contract uh, that came through as well. Uh, we tested uh, former resistance as new support today, so former resistance 14 and a half, and uh, the low today around that level. Uh, while we remain above uh, the old July resistance, still looking for uh, the uh, April resistance line there up to 24 pence, and uh, perhaps even the top of uh, uh, that, uh, uh, well, that uh, January 2019 resistance line projection up to. 25 or even 27 pence over the next month or so. Finishing off uh, with a slow burner situation, which some people may prefer. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Xeros here. Here we see the shares uh, trying to, uh, well, they bounced off the 50-day uh, line at 1.33 pence uh, to start the month. And at least while we're above that, still looking for a top of March trend channel target as high as 2.2 pence as soon as the end of next month. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.